This is Word Chains. It started as a game my son learned in kindergarten, but it's grown into so much more. So let's start from the very beginning. This is how my son described it. You start with one word and you have to get to another word by changing only one letter at a time. And you can only use real words as part of the chain. So for example, to get from cat to dog, you might go cat, cot, cog, dog. It's easy to play with three letter words that use patterns like consonant, vowel, consonant, but my son really wanted to try harder word pairs. This became a challenge even for me as it either took a lot of steps or we just couldn't find any solutions. This seemed like a fun problem to solve with code, so I decided to spend a couple hours making an automatic solver in Python. The first step is to choose a dictionary, so the solver knows what counts as a real word. My first thought was to just use the Scrabble dictionary, so let's see what it comes up with. Uh, hmm, are any of these actually real words? This doesn't seem right. The problem with the Scrabble dictionary is that it includes way too many archaic words. In fact, it was designed to include every word ever published in a huge list of dictionaries. So you end up with words like these. I mean, are you serious? A lot of these don't even have vowels. Can you really call this English? Anyway, if I as an adult have to look up half of these words, then it's definitely not the right dictionary for a kindergartner. In fact, I was really struggling to find any dictionary with reasonable English words. So I came up with an idea to get a bunch of different word lists from multiple sources, and then have them all vote for which words should be in the final dictionary. It worked really well, but later I found out that someone else already did exactly the same thing, and they did it even better. So I ended up just using the word list from Scowl's 12 dictionary package. And it looks much better now. Using the word chain solver is really fun, but now there's a ton of questions in my head. What pair of words have the longest path? Can you get from any word to any other word? Which word has the most connections? And what happens if we change the number of letters? These are all network theory questions, so of course the next step is to turn the problem into a graph. It's really simple. If two words differ by only one letter, they get connected. Then I export the connections list to a dot file to view it in Gephi, which is a free and open source graph visualization software. The first thing I noticed is that there's definitely some clustering going on. Make a guess what you think those clusters are. Gephi does have tools to automatically cluster, so we'll change the color of each node to match the group Gephi thinks it belongs to. Well, it's not too surprising. This cluster is words with A in the middle, this one is words with I in the middle, U in the middle, O in the middle, and E in the middle. Here we have words that end in Y or have an H in the middle, and lastly down here are words that start or end with a vowel. It's pretty cool that clustering can create these groups without knowing anything about the words themselves. The degree of a node is how many other nodes it connects to. So now let's color by degree and figure out what node has the most connections. The word with the highest degree turns out to be mad with 27 connections. Okay, what about the longest chain? This is called the network's diameter, just like a circle. And of course, Gephi has tools for that too. The longest chain length for this network is 11. And here's one of those chains from Ski to Emu. That's Ski to Ska to C to C to Lee to Lie to I to Age to Ago to Ego to Emo to Emu. You might also be wondering if all the words are connected. And the answer is no. There's actually 10 groups, the giant and massive one we've been looking at, and then there's nine isolated words that have no connections. These are aha, eb, gnu, ism, ova, qua, ug, uni, and urn. 
My son loved playing around with this graph visualizer after school, and so we kept exploring more things to look at. Like, what about four letter words? Now the graph starts getting a lot more interesting, and here's how it looks. The clusters aren't quite as obvious, but most of the groups make sense since they use common letter sequences like double E's, double O's, vowels in the second position ending in an S, and so on. This time, there's actually a few different disconnected islands of more than one node, and these are the largest ones. And of course, there's still lots of completely isolated words with no connections, like kiwi, liar, sexy, and exam. But back to the giant cluster, the most connected node is care, with 24 connections. And the diameter with the longest path is 16 connections, from auto to amen, which goes auto, alto, alu, allo, flow, flee, fled, feed, fees, bees, buys, eyes, eaves, even, oven, omen, amen. Okay, let's do five letters now. I'm going to start speeding things up just to show the interesting results. The longest chain for five letters is actually 29 steps long, from reply to allowed. And the largest island that isn't the giant cluster has 17 nodes. The most connected node is, again, cares, with 23 connections. Once you get to six letter words, the giant component now contains less than half of the words. So there's way more disconnected networks, including this really big one. The longest chain is a staggering 37 connections from petals to cloudy. And the most connected node is cowing with 16 connections which, believe it or not, is actually not even in the large cluster, but in the smaller island. We can go to seven letter words too, but at this point, there's actually now more nodes than edges. So it just gets harder and harder to find words that can actually connect at all. But just for completeness, searing is the most connected word with 16 connections. And the longest chain is from exuding to gussied. And I skipped over the two letter words since they're a bit boring, but here they are. The longest path is from ya yeah to id, which only has five steps. I was surprised by how much depth was in this really simple game, and it gave me a chance to learn more about network graphs and data visualization. You can also explore data visually with Brilliant, today's sponsor. They recently launched a ton of new content and data analysis, with lots of real-world examples. Brilliant makes it actually fun to learn by not just showing, but doing. A proven method that helps you learn six times faster than just watching videos. You build your problem-solving and critical thinking skills with daily challenges you can do every day, whenever you have time. To try everything Brilliant has to offer for free for a full 30 days, visit brilliant.org slash codeparade or click on the link in the description. You'll also get 20% off the annual premium subscription. Thanks! If you want to play with the word chain solver and the visualizations, then check out the source code for both of them on my GitHub. You can try out different numbers of letters, different dictionaries, or other languages to see what those networks look like. And speaking of source code, the engine behind 40 Golf is finally now open source on GitHub as a Unity plugin. It's got full documentation, a Discord community, and all the tools you'll need to get started if you want to make your own four-dimensional game. I've even seen some cool projects started already. Thanks for watching.